As we get closer to the full launch of Android 11, OnePlus has gone ahead and released a beta for the OnePlus 8 series of what's in store for us. This isn't everyone's cup of tea though because it comes with quite a few issues and flashing it on either your OnePlus 8 or 8 Pro will wipe all your data and bring in some unpolished features. On this build, for instance, face unlock doesn't work, but video calling using Google Meet seems to work fine even though some claim it doesn't work at all. And of course, you also get to see some instability and a UI that looks less finished than what you'd typically expect from an Oxygen OS device. But it is Android 11 and it brings a glimpse of what's to come and helps developers in particular prepare their applications so they're good to go in time for the official rollout. Visually speaking, not much has changed, but underlying are some updates that OnePlus users will appreciate. There's finally a dark mode toggle available on the notification tray for quick access, although the feature still has bugs with certain UI elements not being too visible and I could see that especially in the settings menu. Customization freaks will appreciate some new styles for the clock on the lock screen which falls under a very minimal change but a change nonetheless. We'd say a big change comes in the camera though. Now you're able to quickly take small video snippets straight from the photo mode by holding the capture button which we think is great for things like Instagram stories, Snapchat or TikTok. It also supports intuitive zoom controls which to be honest many are going to like for one-handed video especially but best of all you can now share your footage quite easily using gestures with us sharing more than ever today this is neat and extremely natural and works with pretty much all your applications installed on the phone you might have also noticed throughout the video that there are some changes to the notification tray and that's a big part of android 11. The notification tray adopts a new layout that neatly organizes all your notifications. It groups them into alerting notifications, silent notifications, and conversations, the latter being the coolest. With this, all your conversations come directly to the top for quick access, and I think that's a very helpful way to distinguish between your non-useful ones and your useful ones. On the same tide, the beta also supports chat bubbles, which like you've seen on Facebook Messenger, will be appreciated for those people who really like to text a lot, although this feature isn't yet available for many applications. You can even mark certain conversations on SMS as important, and instead of showing you the generic notification, it's actually gonna show you the profile icon from the person, which could be useful for distinguishing between spam messages and those sent by friends and family. There's no doubt that the notification tray is the biggest change you'll see in Android 11, and that continues with users now being able to see a notification history. We don't know how useful this is going to be considering we dismiss notifications once we're done with them, but perhaps if you get a notification from a favorite celebrity, or if they followed you, you might want to preserve that, and that's how this could be useful. Android 11 is also supposed to bring changes to media controls by adding them to the quick settings, although that's a feature we haven't yet been able to try out on the OnePlus 8 Pro, nor have we been able to see a revamped power menu that you find on the Pixel devices, which helps users quickly access their credit cards or smart home controls. Again, very useful, but we think these will gradually make it to the OnePlus 8 Pro as we get closer to the full launch. Another one is the one-handed mode, which I think is useful for the big screen on the OnePlus 8 and the 8 Pro, but even though this feature is on the beta, it doesn't work. So that's something that OnePlus has to polish. And that's the essence of Android 11 beta on the OnePlus 8 Pro. We do not recommend you download it just because of the bugs that comes with it. And also if this is your primary device, you wanna stay very, very clear from the beta. Although at least it does give us a sneak peek of what's to come and all the features that are lined up for the future. So that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.